Well, Merry Christmas, everybody. Thank y'all for coming. This is, uh, man, I hope it's as fun to listen to as it is to play with these guys. They are so much fun to play music with, and uh, I'm so glad they're here tonight. Um, man, like Brother Clannard said, we've got some of the greatest musicians in the world here in Copper's Branch Baptist Church. And, uh, so thank you, church, for opening up the doors to us and letting us come in and, and play for you tonight. Um, over here on my right, to your left, is a friend I've known a very, very long time. We used to grow up competing together, and uh, the last time we competed in a contest, he got the best of me, and I still haven't gotten over it yet, so uh, I'm going to try to play more notes than he does tonight. I'm just kidding. <laughs> sure love this guy a lot. He plays uh, with the Traveling McCurries. He's a five-time Grammy-winning musician, and uh, uh, worked a lot in uh, the Ricky Skaggs and Kentucky Thunder Band with him for many, many years. And uh, I know you're going to love his playing tonight, Mr. Cody Kilby. Uh, Cody. <laughs> well, back here behind me is another fella I met in the Ricky Skaggs alumni band. And uh, we, we have played a lot of music together over the years, and I sure love this guy a lot. He means uh, so much to Rachel and I and, and to everybody up on this platform. And um, uh, I know, I know he, you'll love his playing tonight. He's got, a, he's got his own band with a fellow named Jamie Daly and uh, a yeah. great band, Daly and Vincent. And I'm so honored that he's here getting to, uh, to I'm so honored that he's here playing with us tonight. I, I sure love him a lot. We've worked a lot together. And this is Mr. Darren Vincent on the bass. <laughs> Darren, it's a whole other thing trying to front a show, brother. I don't know how you do it. <laughs> I just like to pick. But over here on the piano is a lovely young lady uh, to go, we go to church with. And uh, she is, uh, man, she's so talented. And I'm so glad to get to work with her uh, and play these songs. I'm so glad she's with us. This is Miss Hannah Burns on the piano. Yeah. And over here on the Christmas banjo, we'll call it the Christmas banjo. Let's put some lights and decorations on it. Um, I sure love this guy a lot. Um, he's the assistant to my pastor, Ron Ralph, there in Carthage, Tennessee. And he's got his lovely family tonight with him. And uh, we'll introduce them a little bit later on. And um, this is Mr. Jim Britton. Thank you, David. I think it's going to rain today, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it's, it's going. Yeah, I hope so. Well, <laughs> we've uh, this is our sixth show that we've done this month. We've got two more this weekend, and uh, praise the Lord, we've had great, uh, great fortune and um, favor uh, with the with the weather. And um, uh, but that rain, I sure would love to see it turn to snow, brother. Honestly, after we get home, after we get home. yes. Right, we so we're gonna play this song. Hopefully, it'll snow <laughs> later on. Just let it snow. One, two, one, two, three. Bang. <laughs>
It's going to snow at Darren's house. I know yeah, that. it really is. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, back, um, back in 2003, um, Ricky and the Whites started doing these Christmas shows, and a lot of the music you'll hear tonight is kind of left over from that show, and these arrangements uh, we kind of stole from them, and um, that was one of them. Darren, we've played that, and me and you and Cody have played that one several times. Very, very much. And, um, That's where we get the idea. From. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, well, on those Christmas tours, I um, I couldn't wait to hear uh, this lovely woman sing this next song. It made me melt every night. We'd, we'd go out. I'd always try to go out front and listen to her sing it. And then I got brave and decided to dance with you during the piano solo. Oh, man. Yeah. Yeah. Twinkle toes. Twinkle toes. That's fun. <laughs> and, uh, no, Rachel and I have been married now for 15 years. And um, we uh, thank you. God has been very good to me, and he's answered all my prayers, and, uh, and I sure love this woman a lot. Her dad is here tonight, Miss Galena. Thank you all for coming, and I uh, sure love this woman, and uh, we're going to, uh, I love the way she sings this song. This is um, the, the perfect song to sort of set the mood tonight. Our, our prayer and hope tonight is to glorify the Lord in all that we do and uh, to keep the world out there just for a brief moment in time. You get to come in here and relax and just rest and enjoy the Christmas season, and this is the best time of year. Uh, I don't, you know, no matter how hard our year's been, I, I know that God is faithful, and uh, and he's good, he's better to us than we deserve, and, and I'm thankful for that, and uh, so if we can, we'll listen to Rachel sing this next song, and just sort of put a hush on the on the spirit of the room, and, uh, and leave everything out there, all the cares and worries and burdens, we're just going to leave out there. This is Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas. yourself a merry little Christmas. Let your heart be
if you weren't in the Christmas spirit, hopefully by now you are. <laughs> Amen. We're, uh, well, obviously we love we love singing about the Lord Jesus, and uh, this next song is is a song about not only his uh, his birth and his first coming, what he came to do, but Second um, Corinthians chapter five talks about the Lord and how He uh, reconciled us back to Himself through His Son, the Lord Jesus Christ. And so, His birth and His first coming is a gift of salvation and also a gift of reconciliation. Amen. You can have forgiveness, but re- reconciliation is a different thing, and, uh, and that's what He did for us. And um, that's what this song talks about. This is the reunion song. Come on. <laughs> together like birds of a feather every boy girl woman and man satan was right at his heels when he came to earth he tried to stop him one way or another from the time of his birth just when he thought he had succeeded something happened at the cross of calvary the turn to feet victory restoring the family the father the savior and me too many times we get discouraged trying to fight a battle that we can't win too often i found we tend to carry our burdens around but jesus said we got We're gonna skip the set list, guys. We're gonna we're gonna jump to this uh, another lovely young lady who is, yes, married to this tall banjo handsome man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Well, when Rachel and I thought, thought about putting uh, putting this together, uh, we uh, we get we have gotten the opportunity to sing a lot in churches together with uh, with Jim and Rochelle, and uh, and, um, and so we um, uh, we had a great idea to to said, well, we need harmonies, and uh, and I sure love the way that Rochelle and Rachel and Jim sound together, and, uh, and they were kind enough to learn these songs and come out with us and sing with us, and when we were coming up with songs, we thought, well, let's, you know, that Rachel had this song, Beautiful Star of Bethlehem, and we thought Rochelle would just be so great if she would sing it for us, and uh, I sure love the way she sings this. Unless Brother uh, Kleinert wants to sing it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, Brother Kleinert, you come ahead, and... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we'll have Brother Jim kick this one off. Beautiful Star Bethlehem. Great, Rochelle. Rach, why don't you set up this next song here as you take a drink of water? <laughs> so I can take a drink of water. <laughs> I'm glad y'all don't, don't mind us being laid back. <laughs> um, well, this is one of the few songs we did not, that we did with Skaggs Family Christmas that we did not steal from Amy Lou Harris. So... We stole this from Skaggs Family Christmas, but we stole Skaggs Family Christmas stole everything from Andy and Harris. Uh, <laughs> but uh, Andy and I toured with Skaggs Family Christmas for 13 years. Uh, so did Cody, actually, and Darren for most of that time. Um, and really, that was birthed out of kind of a tough time in my family. Uh, my grandmother had passed away in 2002, and uh, she was sort of the, the heart of the 
family as most grandmothers are and so we didn't really know kind of what to do with ourselves and so we decided to get on a bus and go sing some Christmas songs and and to try to cheer ourselves up and uh, bring some cheer to other people too and um, we did that for 13 years and then back in 2018 uh, Andy's dad was diagnosed with cancer and so he wanted to put together a little something to kind of cheer his dad up, something that his dad could come to. And uh, so we started putting this music back together, and uh, the Lord had mercy and took him home before we could, where he could see the show, but <laughs> uh, he saw it anyway. We know that. <laughs> so, uh, but this is one of the songs that we, uh, that we got from, from my family with a little Texas spin on it. This is White Christmas. Brother Jim, would you introduce your girls for us? Come up here, girls. You've been here several times in the past, but it's it's always good to be here with Brother Kleinard and be here with your church. And appreciate your hospitality, allowing us to be here tonight. And uh, the girls are uh, coming right along with everything. I think they talked all the way down here. I know they did to at least Lebanon because that's when I put my earbuds in. 
<laughs> this is Chloe, and that's Lindsay, and that's Emily, and that's Bailey Britton. Thank you. Yeah, brother. Brother. <laughs> brother Jim is a little bit outnumbered. We're going to have to pray for him. I think even his dog is a female. Is that right, brother? That's right. Yeah, amen. I've, I've, we've got several cats. That's a long story, yeah. but that doesn't, that doesn't count. <laughs> Hey, have you got CDs with you, brother? I do. All right. This, uh, they, they released a CD uh, a couple of years ago, and they're working on a new one that we'll do a song from here in just a minute. And uh, so if you get a chance after the, after the show, make sure to pick one of those up. And uh, we're going to have them help us sing a song here uh, called Light of the Stable. Since, uh, since we got the, we call them the Britain Minis down here, since we have the Britain Minis, Miss Renita, would you bring your, your wonderful junior kids here and we'll, uh, we'll get, get them to sing a song for us. This is uh, something I've been looking forward to for the last uh, couple months when we decided to, to come back down. And um, man, this is, a, this is a real blessing right here. Talk about, talk about getting in the Christmas spirit. Let's get, yeah. the, get some junior kids involved. Oh, what a blessing. This, this song here was uh, one we got from Keith and Kristen Getty that uh, Miss Renita um, suggested we would do tonight. And I uh, hope you enjoy. This is Joy Has Dawned. One.
singing that the Lord of glory might have been bowed down to hear what they were singing. And certainly what a joy it is for these children to sing. I think God's all saved us to make us singers. In fact, doesn't the Bible say he put a song in our heart, a new song, even praise unto God. Music is a tremendous gift. We thank God for it. And this time of year causes our heart to want to sing. When God came down among us, God came, came down low, didn't he? God wrapped himself up in flesh, came to this sin-cursed world with a body. God manifested in a body. God was given eyebrows and eyelashes. What about that? The creator of the universe was given a brain. The designer of human beings, genetics and DNA, God was given a brain. God was given feet. The one that made the entire world, God was given feet for transportation. God was given hands. The one that's omnipotent, the one that made everything by the word of his power upon whom all things consist, was given hands. And with those hands, he touched the leper and touched the blind, amen, and fed the multitude. God was given a mouth. And with that mouth, he preached the gospel to the poor. What a Savior, amen. Wrapped himself up in flesh to live among us and to die in our place. That's why we like Christmas. God bowed down low, didn't he? I'll say this. We're going to take an offering in just a, a moment. I'll say this. I was reading this week. I shared with our church yesterday about an old Methodist preacher by the name of E. Stanley Jones. E. Stanley Jones knew of a young lad whose father had abandoned him when he was just an infant. When the little boy got to reach a, an age where he could recognize his father was, wasn't with him, he saw a photograph of his father. His mother showed him a picture of his father. When he looked at that photograph, he said, Mom, I wish father could step out of that picture. That little boy was expressing in his own way the deepest need of mankind that God would step out of a picture. You see, the Old Testament saints they believed in God. They believed God created everything. And they looked at creation as if it was a picture of God. But creation, as great as it is, could not heal the human heart. Amen. Flowers are wonderful, but they have cold hearts. They don't care if they go to a funeral or a wedding. The mountains are majestic, but they have a cold heart. And they cannot speak peace into a heart. Oceans and trees that stand tall and stalwart are wonderful to look at. But in God's creation, they cannot heal a troubled soul. And so what God did, I may preach. God stepped out of the picture. Because none of what God made could help us. None of what God made, as beautiful as it is, could not help our souls that were dying apart from Christ. In need, as Brother Andy said, of reconciliation to God. And so because of that, and because we could not go to where God is, God came to us. Wrapped himself up in flesh, and God the Father lowered him down through the clouds of time and landed him in Bethlehem's barn and and she brought forth her firstborn son. And the angel said, Brother John, he shall be great. Yeah. Now there's a long list of the register of human, a uh, register of who's who that call themselves great. There's the Ottos and the Heralds, the Herods and the Alexanders and the Vladimirs all claim to be great. But there's but one that can actually say, I am great. Yeah. And that's the Lord Jesus Christ. They said he's not great. They said he's born of fornication. They said he's not great. They said, they said that he cast out devils by the prince of the devils. 
That's what they said. But the angel said he's great. And I say he's great. And that's why we're here to celebrate his greatness. He's a good Savior, isn't he? And I bless the Lord. Fellas, come with the plates. Uh, they're going to play a song for us in this time of intermission. They don't get much of an intermission, but they're going to play during the intermission. And, uh, and so we're going to take an offering up. You can give um, to this uh, great group. We've got it in our budget. We budget every year uh, for this. And um, listen, you'd have to pay a lot of money to get this kind of musical experience. And uh, so here we are. Go ahead, fellas. Take the offering that Brother Andy going to play. Miss Hannah Burns on the piano, guys. Yeah, Hannah. Awesome. Well, as uh, Rachel comes up to sing this next song, I uh, want to just uh, give a brief, just a brief testimony of faith. I, um, when I was nine years old, I, I was, uh, uh, my grandparents would always bring me to church on Sunday, and um, as, uh, as I would go to church with them out of obligation, I uh, I never really, it never became apparent to me that 
you know, Jesus Christ is who he said he was. And I never doubted, I never not believed that he was the son of God and that he died on a cross and that he was raised again the third day. I never doubted that, but it was that moment at nine years old, I, I realized that um, uh, I, had n- I had never received him as my Lord and Savior. And, uh, and it became out of my, it got out of my head and into my heart. And that, that was the difference. And, and so when I'm, uh, received the Lord at nine years old, I traded places with Jesus Christ. And uh, I didn't fully understand what it was back then. And, and to be honest with you, I don't quite fully understand it all now. But uh, but I do know this. I can I can rest assured that the Word of God is true. And um, I'm, I've lived on this earth 40 years. And uh, and there's, um, there's something I can say about the faithfulness of God. Even though I'm not faithful to Him as I should be every day, I'm so glad that He's faithful to me. And uh, this season that we're in, it's a great chance to reflect on God's goodness in our life. And um, if you're here tonight and you don't know him as your Lord and Savior, I pray that you don't leave this place without receiving him and trading places with him. We cannot get to heaven on our own good works. We can live the rest of our life a perfect human being, but it doesn't erase yesterday. And the only thing that's going to get us to heaven is perfection. But the problem is none of us are perfect. So we have to change places with Jesus Christ, and that's what he came to do. And um, he lived that perfect life that I could not live. And he, he took my penalty for my sin on, on, on the cross at Calvary, and he, he bore my shame. And uh, I'm so grateful uh, for the truth and the Holy Spirit. And, um, and uh, when I was nine years old, the Holy Spirit indwelled in me, and he's been with me ever since. He'll, and uh, Jesus promises in his word that he'll never leave us or forsake us. And this is what this song talks about, and um, this is uh, this is called Emmanuel. No decorations, no tree with tinsel, no lights. This year at home. Are silent, no carols play. It's the first time she is all alone. But what a wonder! She says, There's comfort.
wonderful truth. Amen. Amen. Makes me think, how do folks get in this, go through this life without, without the Lord? I, don't, I wouldn't want to. Um, well, uh, last year, Miss Renita brought uh, this next song to us, um, and uh, we sort of kind of stole it and claimed it as our own. Brother, Brother Jim, you guys recorded this on this new CD that you're making, and uh, I'm so glad the, the Britain girls said, we want to sing that and work it up, and it's another Keith and Kristen Getty song, and um, it's called Sing We, the Song of Emmanuel, and I love how they do it here, and uh, it's gonna we're going to proceed it with uh, O Come Emmanuel, and uh, we'll, have, uh, we'll have Mr. Cody Kilby kick us off here.
Could you imagine what heaven will sound like?
He is despised and rejected of men, a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief, and we hid, as it were, our faces from him. He was despised, and we esteemed him not. Surely he hath borne our griefs and carried our sorrows, yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God, and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions, he was bruised for our iniquities, the chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. God for grace. Well, brother, if we can play just a few more for you, I, uh, I want to show these guys off one more time. This is such a great, great band of players and pickers up here. And, and uh, once again, Mr. Cody Kilby on the guitar. <laughs> Mr. Darren Vincent on the upright bass. Yeah, dude. Hannah Burns on the piano. Yeah, Hannah. And Mr. Jim Britton on the Christmas band. This goes out to any of y'all who have not put up your Christmas decorations yet. <laughs> this is Deck the Halls.
Deck the halls with bows of holly. <laughs> it's hard to play that song and not sing it. Uh, we've had such a wonderful time. Thank you all again for coming out and spending this evening with us. We hope uh, we've given you a song of heart and a, a wonderful uh, Christmas spirit. Speaking of that, um, <laughs> if, if it sounded good to you tonight, please give Mr. Rick Gore and his wife, Terry, <laughs> a wonderful round of applause tonight. <laughs> That Perfect timing, brother. <laughs> just send it right up. It's a great example of just how fast he can fix it. Yes, exactly. <laughs> but they have worked so hard at helping us create this uh, this show for you, and they set all this up, and and I so appreciate them. They have a, they have a CD as well. They have a great uh, band called Chigger Hill Boys and Terry. That their CD is out there on the table as well. We'd love to to say hi, and if you if you have time, stick around and um, feel free to. Meet us back there at the CD table. I think Miss Robin Nix is going to help us with that. Uh, where are you at, Miss Robin? All right. Thank you so much. And, uh, so, uh, guys, thank you again for, for letting us come and pick for you. I hope you have a wonderful and safe Christmas. And we're going to close with Do You Hear What I Hear?
Christmas, everybody. Thank y'all so much for coming out. Thank y'all so much.